Hi, thank you for joining me today on my Sunday wig chat. Um, and today's topic is, I was going to do, the, I just got home and I was going to do it in the car, but I really don't like driving. I never done a vlog before, so I didn't want to do that. I wanted to wait till I got home to talk. Um, I had just mentioned a couple days ago on Instagram to go check out the wig company um, because they have a lot of great budget-friendly sales, I mean, to be had on there. They, they really are. And um, I purchased, uh, the other day, I purchased uh, Destiny and Sitting Pretty. One will be for the spring and the other one's going to definitely be for the summer. Now they're both in the clearance section and I love the clearance section of, of, of these companies. Um, you can really, really get a nice wig, uh, a very higher end for me. I mean, uh, the one wig was $169 and I got her for 35 and the other one was 105 and I got her for 24 for something so plus tax and, ta and and shipping i got them both for under 77 dollars so i'm very happy with that now there, there's a trick you have to you have to play a game when you go on these clearance sites and this is the game i play and i'm just sharing it with you maybe you already do this maybe you didn't think to do this but first i go on a clearance site and i go on a clearance site to, before I even check out the newest fashions. I just go right to the clearance and see what they have. And um, once I find a wig that I can picture my face in, that's the first thing, then I go to make sure that they have the average size cap that I need. And they have a color that I would want to wear. You know, um, you never know. All the blondes are gone, all the reds are gone, all the highlights are gone or whatever, they're just gone. Um, or a lot of the average size caps are gone first and they have the, just the large left over. So you have to, you have to find just that right combination, the wig you want and the size cap you want with the color you want. The next part of this game I play is then I go and I read the reviews. Um, I check and see how many stars it gets. Now the two that I just purchased from the wig company, one has four stars and one has five. And I read the reviews and I didn't see any, any issues with anything. Um, so I know going into it, if somebody had a problem with it, whether it was styling or it was the color wasn't right, or if it wasn't laying right, or if they had steam or thin it, or it was too shiny, I'm going to know by reading those reviews, the little bit of reviews that they have up there. I mean, you know, the next place I go is YouTube. I hit YouTube and I type in the manufacturer's name and the name of the wig and I hopefully somebody put something up there telling me what they have found out about this wig. Um, so if you have all that knowledge and then at least you know going into it, okay, so I found a $169 wig and I'm buying it for $35 and I'm pretty sure I can wear her. Now, when you get her, you have to be also prepared whether you have to do all the other multiple steps to her thinner out steamer uh, clip here push there um, maybe it looks good up not down um, so there's another game you have to play once you get it and um, these are just some of the things I'm sharing with you uh, because a lot of my wigs are on clearance and I love like I said I love playing that game with going on the clearance sites and trying to get you know, the best wig that I can um, for the least amount of money, basically. I mean, it, originally when it came out, it cost $169. And now, for whatever reason, that they only have so many colors left. Another reason is it could be an open box. And it's sitting there and somebody returned it. And there's nothing wrong with it. And if you don't mind getting an open box, they're even... They're, they could be like 20 bucks, uh, uh, an open box wig and I'm paying, you know, 40 or something for it. And they're selling it for 16 99 because it's an open box. Now I did check the, a couple of the open box ones out, but they weren't the colors that I could, I could use. I mean, I couldn't wear them. So, um, but I would have no problem buying an open box wig either. Of course they all are final sale and they all are on clearance. So you have to remember that you can't return it. So it's yours. So when you do get the wig, you have to either make it your own or maybe give it away if you can't work with it. Um, case in point would be my, the catwalk that I bought from the wig company. And she proved to be a very, a challenge for me. And I'm a novice when it comes to this. Uh, only five months into it, I was a novice and I wasn't prepared. Um, I read the reviews and I, a couple of them were kind of iffy about having to manipulate. And a, and a couple of them weren't. They were fine. They were glowing. So, and she was again, I think $169 wig and I got her for, I think, $40. 
and she uh it was it's a mono part and a, a a lace front and it just it comes straight down if you if you ever see see the see the picture it just comes straight down well i'm not a center part type of person but i loved the volume of the wig i loved the color of the wig and i thought that maybe i could work with that and manipulate it whether because it did have a little bit of a mono part and i thought maybe if i could just move it over to the side well that proved to be difficult she did not want to work that way with me no matter what i tried and i and i and i put her on a headstand and i just let her sit there for about two days and i just kept looking at her mm, what should i do what should i do so in the end if you if you read if you've seen my other videos i can put one here i gave her bangs now i am sorry that i did not videotape me doing that I just one day just put bangs on her and never even thought to tape it. I just didn't even, didn't think. So, um, and I just, I, I, I gave her bangs. And not only did I give her bangs, less is more. I started out down here and I kept getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Then I, I thinned out the sides a little bit. I went on an angle just to give them a little bit of a, of a, of a gentler, you know, feel, not just, just heavy hair right there. Then after I wore for a couple times like that, um, with headbands and barrettes and claw clips, I can wear her pulled back. I can wear her in a little updo. She's a very versatile wig and the fibers are beautiful for the amount of times I've worn her. There, I mean, I, I'm telling you that the, the nape of the neck is beautiful. Um, but, uh, I, and, and I wear her with a headband on and she looks really nice with the headband. But after I wore for a while, I realized that the bangs just look too thick. So then I thinned the bangs. Again, did not tape it. Sorry. Um, see, I'm I have to teach myself that everything I do, I should just have the camera rolling. And I'm not at that point yet <laughs> that everything I do, I should, you know. And then coming home today, I was thinking, oh, great. I have two wigs come in and um, I got them in clearance. That's great. You know what? Let me put this chat out there about what's going on up here. And I want to spew it out and let you know my thought process. So that's what I look for. I look for the reason why it's on clearance. If it is an odd color, open box, if it's because it's hard to manipulate and, and knowledge is power, I know that going into it. Um, I, I know I, I can visualize my face on it. I can see, you know, that it would look good on me or what I want to do to wear that wig. Um, I check YouTube out to see if there's any negative, really bad negative uh, comments about this wig. So again, you know what to look for. Well, anyway, so when I get those wigs in, I'll be sure to do unboxings um, and I will share with you uh, what they look like fresh out of the box and first time on. That's always, that's always a good thing, right? It's always uh, trying to figure out if it's going to look good or not and what you have to do right on the camera there because I really don't edit my uh, videos. I just learned how to do it. I did learn how to do it, but I really don't do them that much. Anyway, all right. Well, I just wanted to do this little Sunday chat and um, I'll be up during the week with more videos and I appreciate you stopping by and please... Consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Please share your comments. Let me know if you have any great stories about your clearance wigs or horror stories about your clearance wigs. Um, maybe you don't even go near the clearance section. Maybe you just like to buy the in the in wig that's in now. And that's great. I mean, I, 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 I'm I happy for you if you, that's what you like to do. I like a good bargain. I like going um, thrift shopping. Uh, shopping. I like to go into uh, yard sales uh, I just like to look at everything and I guess that's part is in me so when I see clearance I go right for it and I see what they have to offer and sometimes there's nothing there it's nothing nothing appeal there's it's there but nothing appeals to me and and as much as I have a wake addiction um, I know when to say no. Uh, I pull back. I'm like, mm, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm, no, I'm not going to do that. And then, you know, I wait until I see one. Oh, I can do that. I can wear that. Oh, that will look great on me. I can just picture my face. Yep, that's it. Okay, I'm going for that one. So anyway, all right, well, have a great Sunday and have a great, great evening and day, whatever time you're, you're watching this. And I appreciate you stopping by and uh, God bless. And until next time, take care. Bye bye. I don't have my clicker with me. So I got to get up close, close and personal. Bye.